The only ice cream that's only vanilla. <laughs> Dude, this played on the radio 24 This seven. song played on the that radio really, all the time. That really yeah. brought me back. Bluebell tastes just like when the Blue pre-civil Bell rights. <laughs> <laughs> Good old. Hey, Jay's this. I was watching this commercial. Right here. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. This Bluebell commercial right here is from like ni- uh, from 96. Sure. I don't remember this one, but it starts with it's like it's three elderly people. And like obviously their whole Bluebell's whole thing is like, remember when things were simple. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Remember. <laughs> yeah. Remember when things weren't so complicated. Exactly. When you could punch your wife in the face and then ice her wounds <laughs> with Bluebell ice cream. There's this... M- there's this undertone of racism that's so mm-hmm. I'm not even trying to like force it into the into the joke here. It's so apparent. You can also even not even the racism, that idea of like, I just miss those good old days when life was simple. And then it's like you were drunk. You ran over your kids for punishment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were uh, you were cosplaying as Dick Cheney. Yeah, there was a day like in where the you, 40s. Yeah, there was a day you you shot through your wife's beehive hairdo, <laughs> like Tony Soprano's dad, and you're like, ah, the good old days. The, these guys, they're it, three elderly. They're clearly brother and sister in this commercial, and they're going back to their childhood home, mm-hmm. and it looks like a plantation oh, style. Right, okay, you yeah. got to see this. Where have the years gone? They go look. Contavious is still hanging from the tree. <laughs> Nothing but bones yeah. now. <laughs> so they step into the home. And it's it's genuinely back to pre-civil rights. Like yeah. they're in like the yeah. 20s. Yeah, yeah. No, that's the 1860s right there. <laughs> yeah. They literally, their, their dad is like Robert E. Lee. <laughs> it goes black and white. <laughs> Look, it's amazing. And he's a farmer. Uh-huh. It's just, right. it's very yeah, good. Yeah. I'm sure he's doing a lot of the work on the farm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way we had separate water fountains. That was the Bluebell way. Oh, the busing crisis should continue. Oh, I'll never forget what my dad did to that hitchhiker that one July night. It's white people riding horses in like a slave field. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's literally yeah. It's it's a flashback of Don Draper's childhood. But taking out all the bad parts, and then it's back to them, like on the on the porch, where you you know who Bluebell you know. yeah. beat a queer to death with a tire iron. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Matthew Shepherding. Yeah. <laughs> Have your daddy take you down to a ditch and show you the local fag that they just killed. Yeah. Bluebell. It's like uh, Ben and Jerry's. They're like Laramie Project Licorice. <laughs> <laughs> Taste the, our new flavor, Matthew uh, Shepard Mint Chocolate Chip. Mm. Tuskegee Experiment Espresso. <laughs> uh, our new flavor, Rocky Road, that you dragged a black man's body across. <laughs> Bluebell tastes just like the wink good old days. <laughs> Bluebell is really, it's the, it's the, it's in the veins of the blood of Texas. People yeah. are really, it's, dude. When I was there, I heard that talked about more than anything else. Mm-hmm. Bluebell, so have you tried Bluebell yet? Up. Yep, all the time. Yeah, they think you can't get it out here. By the way, yeah, can you not? No, you can't. Yeah, it's a, it's a little right. It's a little harder to find, but it is available. Where do you, where do you get it at? Ralph's. You can get it at Ralph's. Oh, Ralph's? Okay. Maybe I just wow. have like a... what a difficult process. <laughs> But they're like, you can't get, you have to go down to the Ralphs. <laughs> they don't have, the Bluebell man will deliver right to your door for And their nickel. scooters are broken. <laughs> I wrote a letter to Mr. Newsom because we visited our queer grandkids who podcast out in L.A. And we couldn't find a single scooter at the Griffith Observatory. I guess you can't get We it. got stuck up there. They had to helicopter us down. <laughs> Charge me and my wife seven fifty. I thought you could get it in California. I could have, but maybe I have like a dealer. Yeah, like maybe it's like uh, when in taxi driver when he's buying mm-hmm. a gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I go to a guy's apartment. <laughs> or just lays out lays out different pints. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
He's like, I got your cherry Garcia. That's a good classic flavor. Yeah. <laughs> you like something close, simple? It's bullshit, though, because yeah. ice cream really speaks a lot about what a state is about. Because here, mm-hmm. like, Ben and Jerry's is a big thing, and it's owned by, you know, the the, the queers. Ben and Jerry's is owned by, yeah, like the they're gay, right? two kings of Vermont, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so they're, I, they're everybody likes it because they're gay. I think they're two brothers who fuck each other. That's Ben and Jerry. Yeah, they're incest brothers. Yeah, Ben they and Jerry's sex is, with each other. It's owned by Johnny Cakes. <laughs> <laughs> and Texas has Bluebell, the good old days ice yeah. cream. Bluebell also has this specific thing where you, you would go to the potluck and they'd be like, now don't. You don't bring another type of ice cream. I only eat that bluebell. Yeah. And it's like, it's just sludge, really. It's a very simple ice cream. It's clearly more cream than sure. usual. I'd rather support bluebell than Ben. I like Ben and Jerry's a lot, but I, I don't know. Sometimes I'll be at the grocery store and look at their new flavors, and it's something's just called like Stephen Colbert is funny, <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> or like, remember to yeah. double mask yeah. chocolate. Yeah, fuck whites. <laughs> Our new flavor. Yeah. Like, all right, Jesus. Fuck whites. <laughs> yeah, everybody on Reddit's like, I'm pretty sure I eat it all the time in California. And some guy goes, um, you're probably thinking of Blue Bunny. <laughs> and they go, you know, you're right. I was chuckling, thinking, why don't they want that stuff at Walmart? It isn't any good. So people that are buying ice cream all the yeah. time are just, fr- yeah. they don't even know, you know what they're you eating. Know, like, who's the ice cream I want to kill? Uh, uh, Blue Bunny? No, ba- oh, Bad Bunny. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> yeah, we had to move to Austin because we couldn't find no Blue Bell in California. I could have sworn I've found I've found like a pint or two like at a I've like in a, like in a Seven Eleven they have them in a li- no 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 my liquor store over here has they have, it in a they, thing they have nips <laughs> <laughs> bluebell in case you get the shakes <laughs> yeah Ben just throws one back <laughs> you're pouring them in a drink at the at your terminal <laughs> Ben's got a double cup full of ice cream soup <laughs> it is funny when I go to the liquor store with my wife I just stand by the ice cream and look at all the ice creams yeah, yeah. and then you, Katie comes over and slaps your hand mm-hmm. you go, oh. I'm getting like a gold schlager vanilla with little gold flakes Ooh. in it <laughs> I'm doing a buzz ball yeah I'm doing a buzz ball <laughs> buzz, of, ball, of ball. <laughs> buzz balls which were designed to give Mexicans aneurysms over time yeah <laughs> that was designed to kill Latina women buzz balls I never had one of them. I never, uh, I never ventured out. They looked like they were too sweet. They're for alcoholics to like throw in their tub, <laughs> and they take a big bath in it. <laughs> Just drinking go, like fucking Epsom yeah. salts. They go yeah. like, oh, Edgar, it soaked into my veins and shit. <laughs> it's a buzz ball. The only time I've uh, ever seen it was the Mexican women at my at my jobs would bring. Yeah, buzzball to a corporate. Party. Women need drinks to be like very sweet, and they mm-hmm. you know they love cocktails and all yeah. that shit. They need something yeah. to be incredibly stupid in yeah. order to enjoy. It. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't need any of that. I don't need any bells and whistles. Mm. I need a cup mm-hmm. full mm-hmm. of vodka. My booze don't need nobody. <laughs> no sir. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thing, so Blue Bell. Blue Bell is an ice cream, and, and fat retards like it. That's true. Yeah, but it, it does kick ass, though. At it's my, great. At ice my cream. wedding, I had uh, the cherry uh, blue. Did you take any of the cherry vanilla Blue Bell at my wedding? No, I just remember uh, taking a lot of jalapeno poppers from other people's tables that mm. weren't mine, and then being uh, reprimanded by somebody. Those were pretty good. Yeah, they were amazing. Jalapeno poppers are so fucking yeah, good. Yeah, they're really underrated, you, actually. You you and Katie have always done them right. See, here's the thing is people try to play it off like it's like a it's like a it's like a fool's errand to chase a good jalapeno no, popper. Because no, because these no, people no. get like the jack in the box ones and like breaded ones suck. Fried poppers suck ass. They need yeah. to be they need to be oven baked. Mm-hmm. Wrapped in bacon. Wrapped in bacon, yeah. With the little toothpick through them. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And it needs uh Multiple cheeses in it. Yeah. It needs cream cheese Ooh, and cheddar wow. mixed together. And you could even cut up a, some shrimp and put that in there, too. Yeah. Right I was at a, I think I was at uh, Houston's, like Hillstone's or whatever, that, that yeah. chain. And mm-hmm. they had a like a like a goat cheese jalapeno popper. Ooh. It was mighty fine. Ooh. A little too expensive, but mighty fine. <laughs> yeah. Everything it, it yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. yeah everything are... is soyified now. They got to put goat cheese in it. It's a soyification of everything. You like goat cheese. It's very milky and. and I like all cheese. It, it would really help those hips of yours. I love. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have a big audition yeah. at Magic City next week, and we both do have we have Bill Parcell hips. Un- unfortunately, if I get if I get too fat, I'll just never turn around again. Mm-hmm. I'll do the podcast <laughs> facing that way 
for the rest of the time. Yeah. We're gonna get the, you're gonna build out the new studio, and it's just you behind like mm-hmm. an X ray booth with a little window <laughs> that you peer through. <laughs> A man having a legitimate fat ass is so funny to me. <laughs> just a big, <laughs> like, like a, a big juicy ass. Like yeah, like yeah. like because like, women are always worried about when they eat too much food. Like it's going straight to my ass. Like in the in like a gross way. But mm-hmm. like a man eating too much food and he's his gut is not an issue for him. He's like it's going straight to my ass. Yeah. People have pointed out I have cellulite when I cross <laughs> my legs. And I was like, that's not true. And I zoomed in. I have cellulite on my legs. <laughs> Well, like I cross my legs when I wear shorts, and I have tons of. It looks like a I tributary. I don't know if that's, know if yeah, that's yeah. totally fair though, because at a certain angle, like it could. Well, no, actually, no, I actually, have great legs. Yeah, Devin's you, is smooth <laughs> yeah. and great. Yeah. No, dude, my my ass it it looks awful. I've seen my ass many times in yeah. a mirror. It it sucks my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our my ass, ass is, really sucks yeah. dick, man. Our, our yeah. ass is where you can really tell we're fat little Texas pigs is in our big ass. You got a ton of hair on your ass, though, so it covers up all the cellulite, right? I don't got the hairy mm-hmm. ass. Yeah. I got the bare Why white. Why did you not get hair? It's just I, I had more testosterone than Ben. I was Do you guys ever think maybe like... I, I never started receding not, or anything. You guys or, ever think maybe you're not like direct brothers? Well, Jace has that a... could be it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, because I, I never went, started going bald, but you and Cole started going bald, and that never happened to me. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, but then I, do I, also, that- I do also have a theory sometimes that just chronic anxiety uh, aged me like Robin Williams in that uh, movie Jack. Like I just turned 40 mm-hmm. and 20. Yeah, or Bicentennial Man. Or Bicentennial you Man. You lived to be 2,000 years old. Yeah, in hell the whole time. <laughs> I lived to uh, discover a new type of Wellbutrin. That's how old I am. <laughs> a Wellbutrin I'm shooting into my veins like heroin. An immortal man in hell. Yeah. That is kind of the Avery's genetically. Is what? Is they all want to die and then they live to be like 93. <laughs> right. But like they age, they, they they like they like die like the guys finishing the Iron Man races, shitting themselves and like covered in blood. Like they're literally just like going across the finish line like that. And, you know, that's why I'm always afraid I'm going to go early because I have too much glee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Too much joy. I think yeah, yeah. that way. Sometimes. I get too excited yeah. about things. Yeah. God, God's like, I don't. Yeah. Eh. That's definitely going to happen. You got a whole lifetime of joy in like the first 30 years because like you can, you just like, you know, you looked at a bird outside right. that was fat and you <laughs> laughed for three hours. So that's as much joy yeah. as someone gets in like two years. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. like you're, you're speeding this up to the end, pal. It does feel like that's how it works. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta like play it off like you're not that happy, actually. Yeah, so you can get yeah, one over what, on the big the, guy. What, what is Reapers, gonna happen? Yeah, 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 you're gonna make the perfect cortado one day, and you're like, ah, I just love the process of living. Yeah, and then God's gonna be like Parkinson's. Yeah, I just touch There's you with Parkinson's. Stray bullet from July fourth last year finally comes down. <laughs> that was floating in <laughs> yeah, space. Yes, floating in space for bounced a, off a, a satellite. whole year. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a fucking cartel bullet with the like mm-hmm. wanted fucking stamps <laughs> yeah. all around the the, the the cursive. Yeah, that'll probably happen, and the, the, there probably will be a day I'm at your funeral, and uh, you know your daughter's like three. It's raining, and I and I have to go to Katie, and I go if you need anything, and I'm not feeling really sad that day. I'm there, mm-hmm. but if I'm kind of bummed, I can't I can't make it out. Doesn't it feel like when things are going really well and really like lovely and like you're in the moment? Mm-hmm. You have that fear. You have to keep telling your brain, like, don't go into that. But, like, it's all, it's just, gonna, you're going to get punished for things, for, oh, for having a nice moment. I hate flying now because I'm like, well, my li- I just started liking my life right. nine months I'm ago. I'm terrified. And this is when God would just, like, throw my yeah. plane out of the sky. My mom today is like, let me take you to the airport when I go to London. And yeah. I'm like, I don't like the whole flying over the ocean thing. It, like, really creeps me out. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what's... I don't, I don't get that. Mm-hmm. I, I, I truly don't understand why it's so easy for people to just go to other places like yeah. that. You know? Because they're kind of retarded. It's cre- It's they, weird. They, they Everyone's just, just so casually... Off. I know I like the Louis joke, but it really is amazing and crazy how casually people just fly across the fucking globe mm-hmm. over the ocean and my mom's like oh i'm gonna i want to take you to the airport that day and i'm like oh that's nice and then today i started having like a panic attack a little bit about it i'm like well that like i'm gonna be punished for that like i'm gonna have a nice moment you i'm gonna have a nice last moment with my mom mm-hmm. and then i'm like like literally last I night i was having like i was thinking about i like watched castaway like three weeks ago mm-hmm. and i keep being like okay so i guess if i because he's standing like kind of behind, in front of the bathroom door when they land in the water and he like somehow lives and I keep having images of me like just in the middle of the ocean with my life jacket on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just hoping there's an island. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. It, it, it fucked me up a little bit. 
I don't well, like it. Just bored with like a like a like a big tube around your waist that you're blowing up. Like, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Have like a big uh, have like a big uh, like life preserver thing that's a giraffe with its head coming up. Like, and just act retarded and get on the plane exactly. and sit yeah. down. I feel like this is gonna be my first flight where I tell people I I quiet people down when they're doing the whole like life jacket like uh, rep, you know mm-hmm. when they tell you how to put it on and stuff. I'm like, shut up. We're going to need this. <laughs> but I need to listen to the thing they lie to us about <laughs> yeah. because we're going to turn into dust <laughs> if anything does happen. I'd start uh, uh, middle of the ocean. Just start. Uh, if someone starts freaking out, they can't land it anywhere. That's a weird thing, That's right? what I don't understand, but you, mm-hmm. I feel like they have less. I don't know about crashes with planes and stuff, but I feel like there's less of them over the ocean than domestic. Or well, you're a young, healthy guy, right? You're what? 23? No, I'm kidding. You're 31? Yes. You're 31. You're a young, healthy guy. You could uh, technically just drop a dead of a heart attack on the plane. Huh? At a high enough pressure. You you could just die in the air, right? And then uh, this right. a poor guy that you're sitting next to is just going to like sit is just gonna keep. They're gonna keep flying all the way to London with you dead in your chair. Right, because you're in the. O- yeah. Where do they land? There's nowhere they to go. They don't. They don't go. So like, you would just yeah. be dead. They're yeah. not like they don't turn. They're like yeah. They don't go like we're going back to Love Field. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. It's, I don't like it. Hey everybody, we want to take a moment today to tell you about our friends at Magic Mind. Now we've talked about Magic Mind in the past, and they've sent us uh, boxes before. We're a big fan of Magic Mind. In fact, me and Devin usually have to fight over the stuff. It's great stuff. Uh, I've been using it. It's got a lot of great stuff, and it's got like uh, matcha, agave. Uh, it's got their like mm-hmm. organic blend that has like ashwagandha, a lot of vitamins, a lot of antioxidants. Uh, as you know, I, I started an antibiotic course recently that wrecked me emotionally and, and left me in pieces uh, mentally because it destroyed my gut biome. I've been waking up every morning and taking two things of Magic Mind. It's literally the first thing I take in the morning. I roll out of bed. My cats are screaming at me, demanding to be fed because they're fat assholes. I grab two Magic Mind out of the fridge because I don't have time to make coffee. Don't need it. Grab those Magic Minds, drink them. I get an instant perk. And it's a slow-release caffeine uh, that won't leave you crashing later in the day. I love to get perked. These these really are full of a lot of great stuff. Matcha is tremendous for you. It's mm-hmm. got beets. Hmm. Beets are great. Uh, red beet will really help your cock out. Mm-hmm. It really, it gets you've, helps. Helps. You told a, me about that before. You said get beet juice helps the circulation. It also calms you down if you ever go to the gym. After the gym, it like or or before the gym, it'll help give you help your workout. Olive oil is tremendous for you. Ashwagandha, all these things are great. Theanine, it's got theanine in it. Yeah, and every new uh, nootropic that they use in the formula, they said they won't use a nootropic unless there's a two hundred peer reviewed. Uh, papers proving that the nootropic is good for you uh, mentally and physically. Yeah, um, it really like I do genuinely take it, and I get like a in an instant wake up like the second I take it. Every morning I pour them on my pancakes and eat them. <sighs> yeah, ben and then pour syrup on top. Ben of that. thinks yeah. they're um, kind of like Ben thinks they're the green ketchup from the yeah. 2007 well, uh, Jim Carrey Grinch movie. Ben pours 40 of them on his ketchup <laughs> or on his uh, pancakes because there's only three grams of sugar. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we don't re- recommend doing what Ben does take them like a normal person and you feel great um so right now they have a limited offer you can use uh that gets you up to 48 percent off your first subscription or 20 percent off one-time purchases with the code lemon party 20 at checkout you can claim it at https uh slash slash magic mind.com slash lemon party and we're going to include that link in the description so i'm a big fan of it it's really been helping me rebuild my gut biome Go to their website and you can just start uh, getting sent this, uh, you know, monthly whenever you need it. So thank you, Magic Mind. And now back to the show. I don't like it. I don't even like when I'm like away. Like, in, you know, we were at like your buddy's ranch in like uh, in Houston, Outside Houston or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, what? If, how do we get to the hospital? Yeah. I go, you know, because I plan on having a heart attack tonight. <laughs> I've been to hospitals, by the way. They, they're starting to feel like they're shut down. It doesn't feel like anything's going on at hospitals. I don't trust them anymore. I think I'm going to start learning how to like. I'm just going to start watching like Bear Grylls videos, like learn how to suture wounds and stuff. 
Yeah. I'm on, a, I'm on a whole other level, dude. Guy that tries to cure his heart attack by like, drinking his own piss and like <laughs> carving out a moose and living inside of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get a hangnail. You're like, I have to, I have to eat my own cum now. Yeah, you gotta eat the bu- this, you know, mountain lion's nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get a splinter that has to get your leg amputated because you didn't treat I, it. I, I, I break my leg mm-hmm. and I, I just start drinking my own pee immediately. <laughs> yeah, this so, is how it works, right? Yeah, the heat goes out in the winter and you just cut Gracie open and sleep inside of her <laughs> like the revenant <laughs> for warmth but it's only 50 degrees though like when you went to australia do you like how i don't even know how that's possible where do they keep that gas on for the plane where's know, all man. that fuel i don't know man where is this tank i don't get it i think they can land in a, there's like um I think if anything bad happens, they can land on like an island of like aborigines right. and then like take out a village and then we to all, save the planet. Yeah, and they kill like three thousand well, people. Go, they go, there is a runway. We want you. You need to land in the village. We want you to land in the Fuck village. It. We're landing. Yeah, We're killing a, everybody. Just a bunch of the Oompa Loompas from the Willy Wonka book just get turned into jelly. But when you look at the overseas flights, there is like a weird like the line isn't straight. They do like a weird roundabout because it's kinda. a yeah. it's a ball. So I'm wondering. Here, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm a. It's a I, floating rock in space. I, I like Kyrie Irving, so I don't really <laughs> subscribe so to think, that. Yeah, you think the Jews made the thinking. world flat? Go yeah. straight. Yeah. But yeah, um, I don't know. Is there's got to be? They have to have methods, right? How do they fucking? Die? Are they all these guys just taking risks? I looked into it, and it just never happens, which makes me think that plane crashes are like fake. I think it's because overseas flights, unless you're like Malaysian, and of course it was like an Asian driver, <laughs> sure, or pilot or whatever, sure. Uh, uh, who, I mean, you know, yeah, these Malaysian flights are crashing into the air for Christ's sake. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, they cut off a cloud the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Their blinker's still on. They have a plane blinker. Yeah. No, most of the, I, I think there's... there's On a- the Malaysian airplanes, the windshields are very... Th- <laughs> they're, they're very squinty. They can barely look see yeah. out of if them. You're, if you're flying the plane too good, they have to turn autopilot on to make mistakes. Sorry, what were you saying, James? I, oh, go on. Well, I think it's because the I think there's less overseas because uh, the plane's bigger, right? The seven forty or whatever it's. The, the plane's really big, and the yeah. bigger the plane, the easier the flight. Yeah, but like the the little like, ones get like knocked e- around. Yeah, yeah, the little ones get knocked around more or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't fucking. God, I yeah. saw. I just watched uh, yesterday. I watched a 19 year old boy on YouTube. Get in a sailboat and sail across the Pacific Ocean on his own. Are you kidding me? You you watched that the other day? Yeah. Do you are you like on my YouTube or something? Do we share the same YouTube because of Lemon Party? No, and then I have, we're both getting recommended the uh, same. I thing? have my own YouTube. I've watched that video like a couple. I watched that once like seven months ago, and then I watched it literally last night, falling asleep. It's pretty terrifying, right? Yeah, the when kid is. You see him, and he's like, "I'm alone now. I'm a hundred miles off the a, coast." A nine year old. He's like, "I got thirty no, more days." No, no, he's like nineteen. No, he's nineteen. Oh, okay, or something. But he's on his own boat. And he's just he literally is going from Hawaii. A white guy, right? A white guy. He's, yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah. going from Hawaii to where? Uh, on a little sailboat uh, to uh, the so whatever. It's really the, long. The, place. the, the island, another place with where weird people. Lots of far like. away yeah. through the ocean, place it's, I'll never see and I don't care about. Don't no, it, it, it. It's a beautiful, rich culture. It's sure. it's stunning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A beautiful, rich culture. If you ask a follow up, you're like, "What does that mean?" They're like, "You're like, yeah, they got the coconuts." Yeah, I want to say Polynesian. Poly- Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Polynesia. Hey, he's it's going to some sort of. It's yeah. called Sweet Meats. It's, it's Saucy Meatsville. <laughs> it's where they make the the little umbrellas. Yeah, he's going to Mai Tai. Yeah, but they're. <laughs> The Asians are so small, those are regular umbrellas yeah. for them. So this guy leaves Hawaii and he goes to Pina Colada. Yeah, yeah. He goes to a country so Asian, it's like uh, Gulliver's Travels. They're all little tiny. and he If I by. landed on one of those islands, I'd just be like, ooga booga. How's it going, everybody? Ooga booga. Ooga booga. I love your little umbrellas. I'm, uh, the, I'm the president of this island now. And I would hit, I would hit a, a coconut tree like the Fonz yeah. and then grab a coconut. <laughs> Stab it. You walk up to an it. undiscovered tribe and you go, No hablo espanol. Yeah, you go, uh, who's, uh, you guys got the, the, the hot dogs you cook on the grocery cart? Who's got those? I'm, uh, I'm famished. <laughs> oh, I take out a cash. You take yeah. out a 20, you go, All right, who's got fruit? I'll take a dirt dog. <laughs> No tahine. No I hand it to no tahine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what is this? Like a fucking Hamas protest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys are all naked as shit. It's fucking gross. 
Yeah, but that kid that looks like a fucking hell because he yeah, the it video, looks like it sucks. He keeps going like can't sleep much. He goes, I'm trying to sleep in 20 minute intervals in the in the pitch dark in, in the, the middle of the ocean. In the pitch dark in the ocean, and yeah. that little oar thing keeps slapping a like, cluck. No, he, he has like a hunk of shit sailboat. It looks really bad. He has like a sailboat that looks like it's just used in like Cape Cod. <laughs> like it's weird that he's even it, taking it in it, the ocean. His sailboat looks like it was made by Curious George, <laughs> like out of newspaper. It does. Like Curious mm-hmm. George folded it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He put it, and then he's <laughs> he's riding it across the ocean like this. Yeah. It's so shitty. It looks like a children's book. Like he scuppers the sail dog yeah, or something. It's Paddington Bear's sailboat. Yeah. yeah. He opens the hatch at one point, and the sailboat feel, fills with water from a huge wave. Yeah. Do you remember he wakes up, he opens the hatch, and then it just fills with water, and he has to close yeah, it he again? Goes, he, at one point, he goes, oh, there's a little leak here, and he mm-hmm. says something, but I hope it's not attached to some important thing. Yeah. And then he just like goes to sleep, and he, he's like upset at himself for sleeping more than three hours, because he's like, oh, I could have been you know, killed by a, like a ship. Well, yeah, because like, yeah, you know... He keeps having to call ships mm-hmm. and be like, hey, I'm coming, like, please move. Because he's going through shipping channels. Uh, yeah, yeah, occasionally. Don't run me over, is what he, yeah, keep, yeah. he keeps saying. And a uh, white guy, blonde hair... And uh, I, w- I wondered where he beat beat off. I didn't briefly wonder that. Yeah. I would. He well, probably, why would you not stand on the front of the boat? Like I like Titanic. That he's, he's still into little, the ocean. He's still a little ashamed. He's like, I need to hide a little. Uh, right. Bit. He's, he's, he thinks people are still watching. Him. I would, it's, he, a sur- it's a surveillance yeah, state, Bob. Even he, the ocean's not yeah. safe. He, he catches a big seat. Though. He's like, I'll jerk off in your mouth and then push you. <laughs> I need to hide it. Yeah. Well, I want to beat off because of the the birds. The seagull if lands. If your dick's out, there's birds swirling. Yeah, they think it's an ice cream cone swooped down. Yeah, or just like a piece of imitation crab. <laughs> I don't know what your penis looks like, but uh, they <laughs> dive right for it and take your dick off. Do they? <laughs> yeah, your, your, your dick looks like a string cheese with an orange top on mm-hmm. it. Yeah. I talked to a guy who, uh, an owl... Uh, took his dog in this area. An owl took his little dog and in front of him. An owl swooped down and picked up his dog, and he just really? watched. He, and he just he watched it go, and he just did this, <laughs> and it just went with the dog, and he just saw the dog like looking back at him, and and the owl just like kept going, and he just saw it disappear. <laughs> Like it just kept wow. flying until it was nothing. Literally nothing to do. Just watched it. Just watched it go. Was it at night? It was like in the evening, yeah. God he was just sitting damn. out. Yeah, and he had yeah. his whole backyard where the coyotes couldn't get in, and he was like, I'm good now. And then, and then an owl came. Was it like, was a like little, no, you're not. It's like a little tiny piece of shit dog, right? It wasn't like a pit bull. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Yeah, it was a Doberman. It was a German Shepherd. And then I was just like, fuck! <laughs> God damn it! He keeps dipping down. Yeah, I mean, an owl killed uh, Kathleen Peterson from the That's staircase. Right. Yeah, got on that damn Man. staircase. Owls are evil. Yeah, yeah. I'm not into them. But uh, the, the guy in the ocean, though... Uh, I commend this young man. It was this crazy. Was, this was a dream of mine. I've talked about this before. Really? I you wanted a, to sail? Yeah, I watched a documentary about a retarded guy who tried to sail around the world and like uh I think his name was like Oliver Cromwell or something. Was he actually know. retarded? Yeah, he was like a he was like a compulsive liar and he was trying to do this race where he sailed he was an English guy. Yeah. And he tried to sail around the world in this race. And uh, he turned his GPS off like within like four hours mm-hmm. because he was like he immediately didn't know what direction he was going. And then he just, he kept lying the whole time and saying, like, he kept sending his coordinates, like, I'm here, I'm here. And they're like, oh, my God, he's doing it in, like, record time. And he was just doing circles in the Atlantic like this the whole time. <laughs> and after 300 days, uh, he, like, landed in South America and he tried to, like, befriend, like, these people in a village. And they're like, get the fuck, get the fuck back on your boat, you, 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 uh, you retard. Like, you, you're not, you know, you don't have yeah. a passport for this country. And then he had to, he kept just doing this. And his family didn't know where he was, and his kids didn't know where he was, and the country wow. was like, he was so far ahead, He but he kept plotting the whole time, like, I'm here, I'm going around Cape Horn, I'm, I'm doing this, and he was lying the whole time, and his family were, was like going on the news, like, he, Oliver, is, he's always wanted to do this, and he never really amounted to nothing, but we believed in him, yeah. and all this shit. Meanwhile, he's, he's like yeah. reading Mad Magazine, he's got like the paddle ball game yeah. in the middle of the ocean. It was, it was John McAfee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody, we're back with the auto blow, the AI blowjob machine. Um, one of the greatest friends of Lemon Party. Uh, this is the original um, blowjob machine they sent to us. Uh, our friend Clay, um, we gave him one. It's been sucking him so good that all his friends at the Hunga have been begging for one. Uh, and I think we're going to, you know, see uh, who wants it the most. Maybe bid it off to the, to the highest bidder. 
Um, but Auto Blow wants us to say that uh, no partner, no problem. Use the Auto Blow. It's the blowjob machine. Its AI takes data from hundreds of hours of blowjob videos and syncs up to a free porn library. So the movements mimic what you see on screen. It might be high tech, but it's easy to use right out of the box. If you have any questions, their service experts are always available. Work smarter, not harder. Outsource your wrist workout to the auto blow. It's time to start having the best blow jobs of your life. Head to autoblow.com and use the code LEMON to snag 10% off your order. That's autoblow.com, code LEMON for 10% off. Thank you, Autoblow. Now, back to the show. He went fucking insane on the boat. Yeah. He absolutely lost his mind, and on the 400th day, he just killed himself. He did? He shot himself or something? Or jumped? <laughs> <laughs> he brought a gun in case? Yeah, he shot a flare gun <laughs> through his head? No, he just jumped off. Ah. I don't figured you'd hang yourself on the sail yeah, what or something. Yeah, the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What a dumbass. What an idiot. Yeah. That sucks. But I always wanted to... I was like, I wonder if a You're man... You're like, I want to kill myself that way. Well, it's like... That's where there's a beautiful thing about looking around in your life and saying, where is the fear? Mm -hmm. And the fear for me would be be far from man out in this great loneliness sure. of the ocean. What? Why do I fear that? There must be something I confront on that journey. If I did the whole trip and it took me 200 days or something, I probably learned a hell of a lot. You might as well be in outer space, by the way. It's the mm -hmm. same fucking thing, right? Yeah. If you go 200 days, you're going to you're going to learn, you're going to confront some great thing within yourself. And I that's been my goal since I was 18. And then uh, then I forgot about it when I was like 22, like yeah, everybody else. when you else. got sucked off for the first time. And you go, oh, that was really retarded. Mm, yeah. yeah. Of like 12 through 18, like 6 through 12, I was like, I want to be in the NBA. And I was like, that's not happening. And then 12 through 18, I was like, I want to be on the PGA Tour. And I was like, that's not happening. And then 18 through 22, I was like, I want to sail around the world and kill myself. <laughs> Your and then in my 20s, getting... I was like, I'll just podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's truly every American man is your dreams start out great and then yeah. just eventually fall so low yeah. you can achieve You go, them. I'll call the NBA and golf gay. <laughs> I'll call my dreams gay. I'll yeah. call them sellouts, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'll actually, I'll, I'll kind of twist my whole worldview that I'm wise mm -hmm. and, and they suck, yeah. actually. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you should. You should. When you're like six, you should be like, I want to be an astronaut and like go to the moon. You don't know you're like not brilliant yet, like mm -hmm. in terms of like math. And yeah, I suppose the astronauts have to be really smart. I'm not really sure why, because they kind of just shoot them up. They there. don't have to be. They just got to be good actors. Yeah. People, and they have to, you know, work with well with Stanley Kubrick. Because <laughs> it was very fake. good, Devin. That was fake. People tell me people go, oh, you have to be so smart to be an astronaut. Well, uh, then tell me why a chimpanzee can do it. They shoot monkeys into space, folks. Yeah. <laughs> they tell me you got to be smart. They've shot monkeys into yeah. space. Did you know what's, yeah. what's, what's actually... <laughs> have what they it, really? Yeah, they yes. really have. You know yeah. what's, what's funny is... They is, shoot monkeys into space all the time to see what happens, and then the monkey comes back down. I'm like, well, what the fuck? He's... He's well, so, a yeah, monkey. Sometimes they also don't come down. They're like, we're sending it up, and it'll <laughs> it will die up there. Yeah. But when they first when they were first sending the first like shuttles into space, the Americans they were like going to send people, and they're like, we're going to like fucking kill a bunch of people. So they trained monkeys, and they're like, we're going to reward the monkeys for pulling the levers we want when the lights go. And the monkeys didn't get it, so they just started electrocuting the shit out of them, and that made the monkeys learn it very quickly. Oh, okay. Yeah. We tried to be like ethical for like two weeks, and then we're like, fuck, fuck these stupid monkeys. So they started shocking them they with started like, uh, electricity? Them, yeah, with electricity in the chair, so that they would pull the certain levers they needed to pull. Well, did it work? You tell me. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't, I just, I don't understand why you have to be brilliant. It doesn't make any sense. Especially, you know what makes sense to me? That movie, did you ever see the movie Armageddon with Bruce Willis? Yes. Of course. Love and that movie. Uh, ben, ben Affleck. Yeah, great movie. They're all like, they're the untouchables, right? Basically. Or not the untouchables, they're the uh, replacements. It's like the replacements, but with space. Right, yeah. right. That was during the era of like replacements type movies. Yeah. I'm thinking of the right movie, right? Where the football team, like they're yeah, all yes, yeah, yeah, Keanu yeah. Reeves, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It, it makes sense that you can get like a jarhead, a guy, you know, like this guy who's really sad, you, and you take a bunch of ragtag team of guys. You could go up into space and like put a bunch of dynamite on a meteor and like blow it off course. I don't see why that's yeah. so hard. Where what is with me, these meteors? Like they're never coming, and we, you know, it's always like a. 
apparent fear, but like. So I actually looked into this the other day. Where, where do these? Why, me how, and you are in the same way. How come meteor? Yeah, I know what's going on with us. I, I we literally know. didn't talk about yeah. any of this. You guys are like, recently. you guys are like developing like a similar psychosis. Yeah, a folia do together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's really strange. We have actually. the same algorithm now, too, apparently. But wh- why do meteors, like, never hit? They say meteors hit all the time, but, like, in the desert and shit and places. Like, they... Yeah, and they're little, little tiny guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, I didn't know that. I, so, basically. Tiny, tiny meteors. Yeah. So, uh, little baby guys. Earth is, it's a, it's really a miracle we're here at all, right? Because we're in a Goldilocks zone. We're all God's children. <laughs> Devin knows where I'm going with this. I pull out a King James version of the Bible. <laughs> you go, you go, Devin. It would actually, it would be more logical for a tornado to roll through a junkyard and assemble an aeroplane than for life to exist on Earth. That's pretty good. I haven't heard that one. You didn't hear that? No, nah, it's pretty. Our good. youth pastor said that all the time, and I think he uh, hung himself because he fucked the kid. But <laughs> before that, he used to love making that argument for an intelligent creator. <laughs> a tale as old as time. Yeah, yeah. I uh, no, I literally uh, ju- remember being in youth class and him being like, you know, the junkyard thing, and I was and I was like really into science. So I was like, well, you know, there's like a a trillion billion Earths, so like that actually, even if it's more likely, it, it would happen at some point because there's so many planets. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, you're really fucking gay. Shut the fuck up. I I think I actually looked into. It. I think there's really there are like a trillion planets like Earth, but in terms of the odds of there being life forms on earth uh like on a place like earth is very because it would be taken out by like solar flares or so one of the reasons that we're even here at all Devin, actually is oh please please explain to us on the lemon party podcast why we're here what i I know the meaning (laughs) of life yeah yeah expert on uh the planet's magnetism and bluebell ice cream okay yeah Carry on. Blue bell tastes like <laughs> the good old days. Um, Jupiter actually absorbs all the meteors that would hit Earth and take it out. So you need a planet like that in a certain distance away from Earth that it can catch all the big guys that would, I mean, cut us in half like a Kill Bill katana. It would just... <laughs> Yeah, straight through the fucking middle. We actually, toast. yeah, they saw a meteor in like '93 that like was a a planet killer basically, and it just Jupiter went right in front of it. Oh, so Jupiter it like helps us. Earth. It yeah. always absorbs it. It's a big gas thing. Nice, yeah. good for Jupiter. But I think if everybody in America at once shot the meteor. Like as it was, I think we could blow it up mm-hmm. if yeah. we all shot. <laughs> would we do that? We would just like fire at it, yeah. right? Like well, you know missiles what would, and you shit. Know what would happen? We'd fire one shot, and then we'd all freak out and just start shooting each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're all dying while it's coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I sh- I don't know. We just have. So, we'd have to ask Adam McKay what he would do. <laughs> don't look up, pal. And he goes, "Well, I would actually um, ruin my career with some bad movies <laughs> over ten years." I think supposedly. So one time I remember in Bible class, we were like, we were like 13 and Jace, you're 15 because you were two years older than me. That's right. That's and, correct. And the youth youth minister was like, let's say right now um, we got a message that Russia not launched a, and I don't know why this was even brought up, mm-hmm. launched a nuclear attack on the United States and a nuclear weapon was coming over here. Like, and he was clearly probably about to ask a question like, how many people, like, you know, would you have to repent? Would you feel like you're going to heaven? Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And some guy raised his hand. He's like, we, we would just shoot it down. <laughs> and then Jace, and then Jace go, literally goes like this. He goes, with what? <laughs> I don't remember this. Yeah, I'm just you so like frustrated very... at the re- at the retardation. <laughs> you couldn't hold it in anymore. I know it truly. It was brutal, man. Growing up in that environment, I literally remember I was like very into science as a. If I went <laughs> we to shoot it down, <laughs> dude, I'm convinced if I w- got to go to some faggy Woody Allen high school in Manhattan, I would have been a scientist instead of a podcaster. I was very into science. I remember walking into school one day with a book called Phantoms in the Brain that was like... Dr. Ramakandra. Dr. Ramakandra. I read it too, yeah. Yeah, who was studying phantom limb syndrome in patients, and it was really interesting. And I remember walking into school halfway through the book, and a kid stands up. He goes, hey, Jace has got a phantom in his brain. He's a fag. <laughs> and people cheered and laughed. Pretty and good. Apl- and that applauded. is actually all right. Yeah, yeah I know. bad. That sucks. I know. It was He's really- owning you again? <laughs> <laughs> 20 the, years into the future, he's the owning grave. you. Well, from the grave, he's owning me. He's a phantom now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> it jokes on him because all his limbs were blown off in Iraq. So, <laughs> who's got the last laugh? Uh, yeah. Damn, that but, is. Uh, I don't remember that story though. But, but I think I funny. looked it up once With and I was like, what? "Oh, we can't shoot it down." But I'm a retard too. I was like, oh, "Of course we'll shoot it down." Yeah, yeah. I thought we in my head. There's like a Doctor Evil laser that comes out of like Mount Rushmore and can yeah, like shoot Re- down. Nukes. Ronald Reagan literally proposed the Star Wars program in the '80s, where he's like, "We'll just shoot it down with a big laser in space." And they're like, "Yeah, that's not. You're a fucking. You're a retarded actor. That's not real." That's something from a James Bond movie. See, because I've yeah, I've heard something like well, that. I just uh, thought we had what, it. What if we give the meteor crack? <laughs> <laughs> what if Rock Hudson could fuck the meteor, well, uh, and then it would get AIDS and I, die? Uh, hmm. Yeah, interesting. I Fuck. guess we can't shoot it down. No, I don't think we have any re- recourse really. If we don't have like a big bubble, we can't live in a big bubble. So I, I well, guess we're just fucked. Israel will be fine. Devin, Devin, because of their dome. Ooh, yeah, that was big, it. Wasn't a race joke. Their big iron dome. Yeah, it wasn't a race. Joke <laughs> oh no, 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 I wasn't saying I thought, that. I, I immediately, immediately saying, assumed that you would be I was insane if I was sort like, of. No, that'd be insane if I was like, all the Jews own the nukes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the most. The Jews racist. own meteors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they own, they own meteorites. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess that is the weather technically. Because a meteor can affect, like, probably, like, like the, the, the tides. O- oceans or whatever. Yeah, who knows? I don't know how any of it works. <laughs> Gives a shit. There there is, there, uh, what's up? There's another interesting one where, you know, um, the only reason we're protected from solar uh, flares from the sun is because of the Earth's uh, magnetic field is shaped in such a way that a big solar flare comes up and should just burn all of life on Earth completely to a crisp, but it hits that magnetic field and then goes on either side. Mm. of the earth and that's what the aurora borealis is oh yeah i saw a, a video of that mm-hmm. it's interesting how it shoots and then it comes back yeah yeah the aurora borealis sounds like a really fucking cool like like i like tropical island yeah that i want to are very drink very, on yeah very athletic black stripper the <laughs> aurora borealis <laughs> yeah. she gave baron davis herpes aurora borealis yeah she pokes a hole in your condom uh, nba all-star weekend <laughs> She treats your condom like a gogurt, just right into her pussy. You guys think you'll regret like not seeing all that shit, like when you're dead, like what, you're on your deathbed, shit? and you're like, I never saw the Aurora Borealis. I never saw like the pyramids. No. I never saw. Type in picture of it right now <laughs> <laughs> on Google Images. Boom, there we go. Next, I did have that moment when the big when the total eclipse <laughs> hit uh, Texas outside Dallas. I, know I you, saw it. You yeah. got to see it. It was awesome. I know. I know. And I thought it was gonna be gay. I know. I was literally like, I I told Callie, I was like, let's get plane tickets. I go, you. On-, I was literally saying, I go, you only live once. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like, I want to see this. I don't want to like. Yeah. Waste these opportunities before I die, and then I was looking at plane tickets, and I go, eh, seven hundred dollars. It's a bunch of shit. Who even gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, they're the the eclipse happened like what a month and a half ago. One of them. Yeah, yeah. They, I, I, I flew to Texas. To yeah, see they, it. they keep acting like they're gonna. Yeah, yeah. I remember you were, and mm-hmm. I was, I was in. No, go ahead, make fun of me. No, no, that's fine. Go ahead. Go, you know? make fun of me for loving life. Go ahead. No, no, no. no, no please doing, continue with your nihilist bullshit. No, you're doing poorly financially, and you have the money to fly to Texas <laughs> to look at the sky. I get it. Um, <laughs> It's my ride as a Texas to Texan to look at the sun. Damn it! Mm-hmm. Uh, I was yeah, in did my. Did you get really scared because the sun was black for five minutes? <laughs> yeah. I'm looking up. I'm like, ah oh, man, it's not hurting my eyes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes ain't tingling no more because the th- something moved in front of yeah, me. Yeah, honey, I'm gonna go outside and bake my eyes. Telling for a me bit. I, I gotta wait for the diabetes to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 it was happening. I woke up. I was like watching TV and. And I was like, oh, it's a little dark outside, kind of. And I walked outside, and I, I, I can't really look up. I don't have, like, the glasses or whatever. And I was yeah. just like, yeah, it's, I didn't really quite know where it was. And I, I literally walked back inside and start, kept watching TV. Yeah, Because it, keep, it keeps happening, these things. Keep happening. But then you went and just watched it on CNN or something. No, I literally, I think I put on, like, I just an episode of Breaking Bad or something. I probably put on like How to Rob a Bank on Netflix about the Hollywood bank robber in Seattle who was had a really great story. Mm-hmm. I tried much better story than the stupid thing blocking the sun. It's so funny I, what we spend our time doing. I'll go on Wikipedia and I'll be like, "What's the history of the doorknob?" <laughs> I mean, interesting. <laughs> huh, how about that? Yeah, Just scrolling. That. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm like, I'm, I'm going to yeah. call you back. I'm looking up uh, Philip Baker Hall's uh, filmography. Yeah, like literally shit like literally that. Literally shit yeah. like that, yeah. I've literally got a call from my girlfriend. I'm like, I was Googling Philip Seymour Hoffman. Uh, <laughs> you bitch. How dare you interrupt me? How did Paul Thomas Anderson get all the actors for Heart 8? <laughs> Yeah, I was getting answers from Google's AI machine. That no, doesn't I'm, work. I'm, 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 I care about stuff like that when it feels right. But I don't know. It felt like it felt like the it felt like these eclipses. It was like enough already. Yeah, I it remember did, the it, one it really with, under Trump, 2017. Yeah, like it yeah. felt like I, I I remember this one was insane though. What was well, so ben, crazy? Ben about? saw the total. Clip. Oh yeah, I saw the total one, which was crazy. Which is supposed to be like one of the most insane things you can witness. Like it got dark, dark in the Dude, middle it of the got day. Dark, dark, and then there was crazy the flares, the flares oh, coming out. It was wow, wild. Wow. That's cool. It felt like this. Um, you felt connected to like all of. So it was like a 2001 a space odyssey moment right. where you felt mm-hmm. connected to. Like what did like the monkey guys think yeah, when they right. looked up from like banging rocks together? You truly got stones. to actually witness how small and inconsequential you are, right? Yeah, that yeah. there's these huge satellites, these gods floating above you. In mm-hmm. L.A., yeah. it just kind of felt like a fire was happening, and it was like yeah. kind of dark out, like slightly a dark, a little smoky yeah. outside. I, just, I, I tried know. to get into it because I like space stuff, and I I poked the little hole in the piece of paper, and I hold it up, and it was like. There's a little dot that looked like an eclipse, and I go, oh, okay, well. How do you look at this it fucking without sucks. the special glasses? You put a little hole, a pinhole in a piece of paper, and then you hold what? that up, huh? and it creates a, ca- a camera obscura. No, I just looked at it. Well, you could because you were it, in the total my eclipse. My baby looked at it, too. Oh. Yeah, you were in the total That's eclipse. That's why you think you're eating right. <laughs> <laughs> you can look at it in the total eclipse. If I looked at it, it would literally bake the inside of my eyes because it's still half That's of what the they want you to think. Yeah. They. You know what skyrocketed during the total uh, the solar eclipse? By the way, yeah. But you, the blinding Google, eye pain. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the the Google search that it was. Why do my eyes hurt so bad? Mm. That was like the top Google thing. You can literally track. It, you can literally track it anytime there's an eclipse in America. It's it's the like chart of like when the search is spiking. Yeah, mm-hmm. and every eclipse it just hits like a thousand percent. And it says like eyes is. feel bad. Why? Yeah. That's great. They so can't guys, put a connection between yes, yeah. them so, looking at the fucking sun yeah, and yeah. why their head hurts. Yeah. And then they just walk in. They go, they go, oh, can my grandson, can you Google why my eyes hurt? Can you make the magic box? Ask how, it what how, happened. How come regular sunglasses don't just work with that? It's it's just too intense. It's just too intense. Yeah. yeah, Devin makes a good point. I don't get it. Brilliant point. What if you me. put on like... <laughs> What if you put on like three pairs of sunglasses? It's got to be the same, right? If you put on three pairs, it's actually totally fine. Let me ask they, you like, this. It won't fuck you up at all. What if you wore a thousand pair of sunglasses? Would it be like it's really dark out? You'd be so cool you wouldn't even look at the eclipse. <laughs> You'd be like, I'm sorry I'm getting so much pussy. I don't care about the sun. Let me put on my 1,000 <laughs> pair 1, of sunglasses. Did you, really, did you really look at it? Yeah, I had my a baby look at it too. I was like, look, look. Did you guys have the glasses? No, we just looked oh, at they it. They didn't. They didn't need it because the oh, sun was, was so completely one hundred percent covered. But I was where in the. Were. I was in the small path of okay. the total. It's like a twenty mile, solar. twenty mile path that you have to be in uh, for it to be wow. perfect. I was out on a farm. Different. It was a beautiful thing. We were out in the high grass, and then we went in and ate bluebell after we stared at the sun. <laughs> that sounds lovely. It was a great time. I do love Texas. Miss that place. I bet you do. Love Texas. I, I enjoy it. That's why you're rooting so hard for the Mavs right now. I'm over, I'm over that. I mean, yeah. you know. they've really been sucking. Wait, this ass. is all you've been. You you sit at the edge of my couch watching the Mavs. Well, they like it's... fucking lost the other night. Jace was over. And we watched oh, did it, they? and they fucking lost, and it sucked. And I'm, I'm done. They've lost they're, three times in a row. They're so, finished. Yeah, now I think they're cowards, and they're, I hate them. They're finished. Yeah, I'll yeah. never watch them again. But that guy Jokic, he's pretty good. It's not. That's not it's the Luka guy. Doncic. Luka Doncic. Jokic. Yeah. You're so. You're Jokic so, is out. He's so racist. He refused to identify any NBA player yeah. correctly, <laughs> even the white ones. Yeah, he's like, I gotta mix them up. I don't know. I mean, I, I it is funny. I I worship Jason Kidd. I thought he was white, and then Devin told me. I literally, we both had the yeah. same thing. I, I thought he was white until this week. I thought he was like a wigger guy. I thought he was Italian. Yeah. 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 No idea. His dad looks like R.L. Burnside. You know, he showed me early pictures of Jason Kidd before he was on the Nets, yeah. and it's insane saying how different he yeah. looks. Yeah. If you look up a picture of his dad, his dad looks like he cooks ribs inside of a filing cabinet. Mm-hmm. He's so black. You it's thought he was crazy. white because he never dunked? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Kind of. And he, I don't know. He, he just seemed like a guy that wanted to be black to me. Sure. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know. His facial hair was never black either. I get it. And also his name isn't black. When he was bald and stuff, he just kind of, I guess, looked like a white guy. But he's not. He's, 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 got, he's black. Yeah. No, he definitely is. So I, I know that now. I apologize. Yeah. Because he was like, he was in the... We we were seeing footage of him like in the uh, talking to his, his players and stuff. He's like, "We gotta go out there and we gotta." And he was doing that, and I was like, "Oh, what what is he? What is he doing right here?" And you're like, "He's black." And I was right. like, "Oh, I had no, yeah, yeah. I had no idea. I had I genuinely had no idea that he can." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I, also funny. I don't think yeah. he gives like 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 I don't think in the huddle he sounds like that. He had a little. He's he like, had a little nah, stank on everything he was. saying. I think you saw a basketball and it literally changed yeah. the way you hear sound. I don't think he was like y'all gotta get backs. <laughs> On defense. Yo, I'm Jace. I'm Jason Kids <laughs> and shit. He goes, yo, J Kid here, your coach. J Kid, shoot the three. He, shit. He uh he beat his wife uh, back in the day. Yeah, that's and then, how you know he's black. And then he mm-hmm. devoted every free throw to her, and he would kiss mm-hmm. and blow a kiss into the sky for his wife. Yeah, to his stupid shitty wife. Speaking of Dallas and speaking of wives, by the way, can I show you guys this video of uh, please whatever. All right. What is it? Devin is a willing man. That's what I love about Devin. Devin's ride or die. I'm in. It's a beautiful thing. Devin doesn't need, need any context. I'll try anything. You really will. Visually? It's a beautiful thing. I'll try anything. I love being... The, the world is our oyster. Mm-hmm. Not me. I say no immediately. <laughs> I'm usually right. <laughs> oh, yeah. It could be... I don't know. Now I'm now I might yeah. be regretting <laughs> yeah. what I just agreed yeah, yeah. to. You're right or die. I'm going to sit and live. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be a coward and I'm gonna live to an old age doing nothing. It's gonna be beautiful. So you know that guy Hub's life that I fucking went off on the Patreon the other day. Oh yeah, that boring the nine to five guy. Yeah, the boring the guy Dallas that's like guy. normalized the norm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 People think he's a hero because he like has morning routines or whatever. Right. So he's been building up to this chapter of his about him being a new dad. Is he like depressed? <laughs> No, 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 no. No, he's been doing like last Saturday with the boys and having a cold snacks. Remember, he calls beers cold snack and he has a whole merch company. He had it, by the way, he had a whole, someone messaged me. He had a whole uh, other page he deleted where he was trying to be an influencer and mm-hmm. he, le- he left his job and tried to be an influencer and he failed and he went back to work at this company mm-hmm. and then started posting like, I don't even want to be an influencer. Actually, I just I just appreciate my my stupid little life in Dallas, Texas, where I make mm-hmm. where I make two hundred seventy thousand dollars a year and have great health benefits, and I have a house with astroturf and beautiful hey, hypoallergenic dog. And my wife's beautiful. It's not you know it's not too bad having a life that ninety nine percent of the world would kill their dad to have. <laughs> you know it's not all it's not all tough breaks. And people go, it takes for the reminder that it's okay to be perfect. Hey man, I needed to be reminded it's okay to be the president of my dad's paving company <laughs> at twenty three. <laughs> I thought that sucked. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to be Andrew Tate. Yeah. Who's saying the N-word a lot on Twitter lately, by the way. I did not expect that. Of him. What? Anyway. Yeah, Andrew Tate, he just, his whole thing, now he gets attention by, he tweets, I'm I'm the N-word hard R, and it's just a video of him smoking a cigar, and it gets like, you know, four, if you say the N-word, you, you immediately become a viral celebrity now. Mm-hmm. You yeah. see the white lady who said the N-word, and. Oh, right, that, yeah. Now she's like a social media star, she got fired from her job, she probably has a GoFundMe from the West Pro Baptist Church for like $40 million, because she said the N-word. Sure, right. Because people can't stand when a white woman says the n-word yeah but they get so mad it's just they, then they get they automatically the other side then just gives them shit loads of money for having said the n-word it, it's such a useless <laughs> retard culture mm-hmm. yeah anyway. now, when i was trying to get my twitter account unsuspended they're like you have to tweet the n-word and that's how you get it <laughs> then, <unsuspended." laughs> then elon will personally turn elon, it back on yeah himself. elon will turn a big key at x headquarters yeah, the, yeah. The, the the fart noise in teslas is now the n-word <laughs> <laughs> was there a fart noise in tesla i think yeah. that's there's a lot of absolute dipshits out there that find that so amusing God. and they, they as a buy former, them for it as a former tesla leaser <laughs> Man, you really have fallen from yeah. a Tesla leaser to a Toyota Sierra owner. Sienna. Sorry. God damn you. You can get me. a Tesla again now. Yeah, Devin was trying to talk me into Dude, these used Teslas that I'm looking at, I don't want a Tesla. I don't like them, but my car is rapidly failing, and I can't park on hills anymore. I, I crash into the cars behind me. 
And uh, I don't. I saw Tesla. They just like used Teslas for like twenty thousand yeah. dollars with like four thousand dollar like tax rebate. It would be funny if you bought a used Tesla and it was it was your own Tesla that you had to give back <laughs> mm-hmm. after leasing it. Yeah, yeah. You found gummy bears under the seat. And you're like, this is this is mine. <laughs> These are my gummy bears. Yeah, my Taco Bell is still like my my soda is in the cup holder. I yeah, take yeah. it out and I sip it. I'm like, that's my order. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, who else would have left a flat suicide? Yeah. In the cup holder like a, from Taco Bell. You're an Indian tracker for fast food <laughs> garbage. You go, a gamer was here. This fucking guy. Okay. He's been building up this where I'm like, surely, because I know what it's like to be a new dad, right? This guy, I'm like, he's not going to keep up this routine where he constantly films himself doing boring stuff throughout his day, picking up his keys, doing doing this, doing that, you know, making breakfast. And everybody says he's so inspiring. I'm like, what? Surely he's not going to be doing this every day. The fucking day he has a baby. Surely he's just going to enjoy the day, not be on social media, not be fucking editing content in the hospital. But here we go. Morning routine of a brand new dad. He's in the hospital. Yeah, this is literally the first day his child has been alive. And he's doing like dad mode engaged. Like immediately like, yep, this is part of my brand now. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a man sponsored by DraftKings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a man designed by the CIA to get um, people who are accountants addicted to online gambling. I I love that this guy is like literally it's it's the hospital where his baby's born. His his wife is lying in the bed. He went in the bathroom, put a tripod up. Yep. To film himself shooting finger guns. That's what everyone. It's on a tripod. Yes. Everyone needs tripod. to remember. That's what I'm saying. These people are yes. setting up the shots. Anytime you see a guy doing something and he's not in it, he, yes. There's literally a sad moment where he gets out of his car. And he stands around for 34 seconds assembling and a tripod. Does it, and yeah. redoes it. Anytime you see a travel vlog, keep in mind that those people aren't just like, okay, so I guess this this stater brother is kind of the empty parking lot's a little empty. Uh, they, they're they setting up shots yeah. every time. When they, it's when crazy. They do, when they do the classic, like it's they're being filmed while they're waking up and they're like, oh, okay. First day on vacation. Here I am yes. with a perfect set of makeup yes. that I slept in. What'd you do? You woke up three out. You woke up in the middle of the night. Turned the camera on so it could catch you waking up. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Yeah, and he's all, he's doing this because he's like, I gotta get that Happy Dad Seltzer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sponsorship. It's coming. I can feel it. Yes. I'm at four hundred thousand subs. Yes, now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting there. You also you also know he was trying to film this. He set the tripod up and the baby kept crying, so he had to go into the other room like Harriet Tubman and just like fucking <laughs> just, <laughs> just hold its nose until it like passed out, putting tape over the baby's mouth. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure everybody fucking hates that. They're like, really, really. Dude, you're still doing this. Dad Watch, because his family's in this, and they don't look happy that he's doing like his influencer bullshit on the day yeah. of his son's yeah, birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Campton is the son's name. Campton? Uh, Campton. should have just named it Sin. Named it Sin Barstool. He still has to stay in brand by Whoa, binging Whoa, go Netflix. back. Was he watching Green Book? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching some shit like that. I can't yeah. rewind a short, unfortunately. That was Green Book. Those are literally the guys where they're like, dude, I watched Green Book. Changed a lot of things <laughs> yeah. that I thought. It made me not racist for like nine hours. <laughs> a guy unchanged by the birth of his son on the day. He's like, I'm, what's on Netflix? Let's yeah. see... Uh, I'm on season four, episode five of like yeah, uh, he's uh, some, go- something. He, he's going through his queue. He's like, no, nah, I've already just been meaning to get to that. Yeah, let's check it out. <laughs> Filling up his cup of... Coffee uh, for your boy. Damn, dude. It's like his other morning routine videos. Skin to skin cuddles and then eat breakfast and fuel up for the day, right? He's like, still got to get my protein, got to get my macros. Yeah. I love the Nana the Nana came in, she's like, Nana's gonna teach you your first slur. <laughs> well it's still that it's that Dallas, Texas Nana. Yeah. Evening routine. You could tell with dad. the wife turning around, she's like, I'm not. I'm not doing this. Oh, the and wife please had turn like this shit thing off. Thing over right her now. head like she's like, I'm Muslim now. Like I hate you. <laughs> yeah, I- you're such a <laughs> shitty husband. It's like prison. Yeah. <laughs> I converted to Islam and joined the Aryan Brotherhood. You're such a shitty husband. 
Swaddle Baby Campton. Fucking Campton. Filming, Campton. filming the the Mexican bringing steak that yeah. doesn't speak English. This yeah. is my 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 son Rei. <laughs> <laughs> And he's still binge watching uh, something called Your Honor on Netflix. Yeah, it's a hunk of shit yeah. show for retards. Those guys love Your Honor. This dude's I I hate all I do is watch his stuff and I get furious. Mm-hmm. It's my new thing. I just I can't stand it. You know what? It, you know what? It makes you so mad. It's because it's like somebody showed you a uh, a George McFly version of your life. Yeah. Yeah. If you didn't get into yeah, you comedy. turned Jace down. Sorry, I, yeah, I, forgot. I was God, trying to turn the... All right, I get it. I'm bombing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me fix that. <laughs> no, he's still... like The family's coming over and cooking, and he's still... Mm-hmm. He's filming the whole thing. Stop! Is he eating? Oh, that's pasta. Okay. Always watching a damn show. He's always binge-watching Netflix. Evening routine is a brand, brand new, new dad. dad. Tuck him in his snuggle. Show love to... Benny. My firstborn, Benny, his dog. His shitty dog. Making himself pasta dinner. I've exhausted myself already, like, ranting about this guy, but it's just, it's, inf- I'm like, I, it, surely it can't go on. Surely it can't fucking no, it's, go on. Are you kidding me? It's, it's gonna never going to stop. Of course yeah. it's no, going to go on. No, it's going to be like uh, five years from now. He's like, uh, at the divorce proceedings, wife took everything. <laughs> and he does the finger guns yeah, in the yeah. mirror. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny to be like, it's okay to not be an influencer who makes you know millions of dollars. Here's my merch, mm-hmm. cold snacks. Here's my merch and my brand. Here's I, my here's my sold out merch. I am normal. Look, thirty dollars for a cold snacks beer glass. Who relates to this guy? Dallas, Texas suburb white dudes. Retards. It's like men that go to Pier One Imports. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Exactly, though. Yeah, it's men that buy the jar of, of pickled peppers that you never <laughs> use and you put on your countertop. By the way, here's here's why being a... He's, he's, like, a, he's like a Traeger grill of a human. <laughs> <laughs> here's why... Here's why being an influencer didn't work out the first time because yeah. he, I think he talked in his videos. Here's a cameo. What's going on, Alex, Greg, Gooch, Steve, Shapiro? Hope I said that right, guys. What? I uh, just wanted to wish Hope. you guys a Merry Christmas. Oh, it's a cameo. Hope you guys are drinking a lot of cold snacks today. Uh, you guys have a great I day. Thought oh, he's like dead inside. Yeah. Yeah. That guy's dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, guy's, that guy died four. years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. looks like a ghost. And let's keep normalizing the norm, guys. Appreciate the love. This is literally the eyes. Keep normalizing the norm. Normalizing the norm. This is the eyes you see right before a man cuts you in half in a hotel. You know what's sadder is the people that asked for that cameo should be lined up and shot. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. like, like, like that scene in The Pianist. And they run yeah. out of bullets for the, for, the de- for, the, for, the, for the whole, for the one guy. And they load it and he thinks maybe he got away with it. And they still sh- I love the idea of rounding up uh, white people in Dallas and like their chain gang songs as they're singing like all the commercials they love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As they're like in the labor camps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blue Bell tastes just like the good old days. Just, just hitting a rock with a big hammer. Yeah, yeah. Two Whopper Juniors for just five dollars. <laughs> with yeah. the big sledgehammer breaking up the rock. Yeah. I well, wish I knew local Texas. Well, a little bit of chicken fry. <laughs> Clank. <laughs> Old beer. Our ancestors wrote that song, and it lives in our veins. Your great grandpappy. We all forgot to read. Not before the slavery. We were just really retarded. <laughs> but we've slowly been reteaching ourselves through mm. course cans how to read and write. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so tired of this. This, by the way, this new meme of like. Just two to three beers. Just my typical two to three beers. It's such a personality yep. now. It is, is having beer. It is literally. People don't realize five years from now, this is going to be epic bacon for the win. Yes. It's the exact same thing. People same that are thing. such losers and have zero personality, they stop at three beers because four, they get a personality. <laughs> and they like start enjoying like, and I, talking. I and, started saying things I believe yeah. and yeah, developing thoughts. Exactly. Yeah. Corona premiere with your pasta. Fuck you, faggot. <laughs> That sucks. And you're not, Devin isn't faking it. I can tell his tone. That really sucks. It really sucks. That really sucks. Yeah, yeah. You're eating pasta, but your beer can't have too many carbs in it. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. It's actually also irresponsible. I kind of it's you know what it is it's like to, when a when a black person sees a rap a rapper be like fuck bitches shoot gangsters and shit it's that for white people where I'm like Mm -hmm. stop encouraging our people. 
Yes. To suck ass. Yes. Yeah. I this, guess we kind of do that, though. This guy goes to La Madeline and thinks he's in Paris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he pronounces croissant wrong yeah. at La Madeline. <laughs> Let me get a croissant. This guy, yeah. this guy apparently he flew to New York and hung out with Gary V. by the way. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right. Normalize the norm. This guy, I guarantee, was an extra at the end of Wolf of Wall Street, where he's in the crowd listening <laughs> to Jordan Belfort talk. He's a moron, yeah, yeah. dude. I think there's more. I think I can watch more cameos that he does. I got way more reviews than he does on Cameo, by the way. Here's another one. On, Alex, Greg, Gooch, Steve Shapiro. Oh, I know this is the only one. one. So one one guy got it. Got mm-hmm. a cameo from him, and it, you know what? It was probably a prank because they all hate him so much. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. He got it as a bit. Yeah, got your ass, bitch. Got your ass. I got you sucking. You're boring, just like this guy. <laughs> hey guys, it's Alex here. Hope you have a lot of cold snacks and you're normalizing the norm. Mm. Best night of his life is when he went to the Alamo Draft House and saw Top Gun <laughs> or mozzarella sticks, dude. That's literally that, his li- that's, that was the that, craziest. That, that was night. the most cultured night of his life. Mm-hmm. He was walking through the halls of the Alamo Draft House, like, "Whoa, there's like other of these. There's like mm-hmm. other movies made." Mm-hmm. Yeah, they go on his death. <laughs> there's movies with people not named Goose. On his on his deathbed, they go, "What's the best moment in your life?" He goes, "Man, the day that New Texas Roadhouse opened down my street. That was the best day of my fucking life." <laughs> See, that's this guy. This guy is why I wanted to hate Glenn Powell. Is because he's their hero. Mm. He is, you know what? Because he's from UT, right? He's from he's he from Austin. From, uh, yeah, yeah, UT yeah. Austin. Yeah, he's insanely good looking. I think. I think. Here's my thought. I think he literally looks at Glenn Powell like he's Woody Allen. He's a <laughs> he's yeah. a Miles Teller man. He's an often yes. guard. Yeah, he goes. He literally is like. I love Miles Teller, except that um faggy <clears throat> drum movie he made. That sucked. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I liked when the when the coach said fag. Yeah, he watches only the brave and just yeah. jacks off yeah. to Miles Teller's <laughs> shitty acting. A guy who loved the Fantastic Four. Yeah, with Miles, the Miles Teller one was into the Fantastic Four. Yeah, he or goes, some shit. he goes, people dislike that movie. It was fantastic. Mm. What are they talking Dude, about? Dude, actually, this is this is the guy because me and Devin were in our hotel room late at night in Philly after the end of the tour, and Devin ordered me a bunch of butter chicken, and Devin was <laughs> Devin was drunk screaming at John on the phone yeah, about yeah. something. No, I, I, and, I heard you guys through the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to like four in the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. with the light, all the lights on. It was funny hearing you guys through the wall. It sounded like the prison scene in Goodfellas where they're all cooking, <laughs> fucking an Italian dinner. <laughs> All I heard was eating noises and screaming and slurs. <laughs> ben put on like two of like the worst movies I've ever seen. He put on like a magician movie with Jesse Eisenberg. Well, what's very funny oh, is... Oh, now you see me? No, no, but our TV looked like it had been like struck by lightning or something. Yeah, it was such a it shitty was... part. It was the airport like hotel. Ran by that Indian guy? Yes, it with sucked a big eyebrow. so much ass, dude. Like it, there it was, was like the there was like hotel. food carts in the hall yeah. of the hotel. It was so bad. It was so the worst Very place bad. I've been. And the food we got was fucking atrocious. It was so bad. Yeah. I was eating butter chicken on my belly with like naan and shit. Dude, Ben literally like left most of I, it like untouched. I, yeah. I walked, I, I had to walk in in the morning to get, give you guys the rental car keys before I flew out and I mm-hmm. walked in and you had like that butter chicken sauce just all over your bedspread. Yes. <laughs> my bed it was like, orange. Dude, it looked like you fucked an orange. It was insane. No, it literally, it looked like the horse head scene in The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up and I thought Ben like somebody ben, like was like intimidating ben, him. Ben wakes up screaming because because he ruined half of the <laughs> butter chicken. He sees he spilled it. He goes, ah! Ah! Yeah. The, the movie I put on, though, was Now You See Me. And we and Devin were like, who the fuck? Right, we knew it existed. Of course, we never saw it in theaters. Like, you know, holy fuck. But yeah. like, who see this? This guy. This guy goes yeah. and sees it and goes, dude, now you see me? Pretty good. He's like, yeah. it, was, it wasn't bad. It was kind of like a, a mind fuck because sometimes you didn't see them. <laughs> but it's like called Now You See Me, but I can't. It's but like, it's like it, a double meaning from magicians and shit. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. it's like they did the Abra, but no Kadabra. You know? Which, by the way, Eminem's new song, Houdini. Shout out Eminem. <laughs> Shout out Eminem, 2017 Eminem, greatest rapper of all time. Shout out TJ Maxx music. <laughs> Just a guy, a guy who thinks like, he's like, 
Now you see me, it was kind of like Inception, but with magicians. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you didn't know what was He's the type, like, the type of guy it. that tells you about sequels to movies you have you can't comprehend exist mm-hmm. and you've never once heard of. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen Ted Seven? You're like, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you like Google, you figure out like they made rip off Ted's mm-hmm. just at like the University it's of on, Alabama. Uh, it's like on Crackle. Yeah. <laughs> but how did you how did you find this? This is uh, streaming on Redbox. You have to stand in front of the Redbox and watch it. You can't get the DVD. Yeah. Me and Devin couldn't believe now you see me was a real movie. We were screaming like, what the fuck? Fuck is this? And then you put on like under the skin. What was that fucking under movie? the Scarlett Scarlet Johansson? Uh, Scarlett Johansson, where she's an alien and she oh, has under the guys. Skin. Oh, that so movie sucked. Weird. That movie. I hate she was that like movie. on the beach, just murdering men. I just remember mm-hmm. passing out with like horrible Indian food on my chest. As a yeah, it was pretty cool because she's really hot. And she's an alien and she lures men into a big pool of black cum and then they die and explode. <laughs> <laughs> That's the that whole is movie. The, that is the plot of the movie. Right? That's the movie, right? Yeah, yeah. She shows her titties and her ass in it, which is pretty cool. She does? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh you yeah. You fell asleep because you're gay. You didn't want to see your titties. <laughs> God damn me. What's yeah, wrong but, with me? Yeah. yeah. But I, I don't I don't care for that movie so much. Anyway, Devin, any last turds before we uh, fly you off to London? As we, as we wrap up here and head into a Patreon episode. No, we got to record again on... Oh, I'm not leaving until Monday. So oh. yeah, Devin's recording yeah. nine episodes I, in four I'm recording days. Uh, two today, two tomorrow, three on Saturday, and two on Sunday. Mm-hmm. You're, like the, you're like the little Wayne for podcasts. You're just going <laughs> exactly. insane. Just, I'm in the lab. Like, I'm on the tour bus just, like, making songs. Yeah, Devin's dying of kidney <laughs> yeah. failure while we put him in front of another microphone. The scissor is rotting my spine. <laughs> You're like a uh, sixteen tons. How about that? Huh? The Tennessee Ernie oh, Ford 16 song. Sixteen tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Saint Peter, don't, don't you call me because I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. I love Migos. <laughs> Come that's on, great, you know, you know. You don't know I don't song? know that. That's yeah. a great, we're going to listen to that. What that's song a great is that? Song. My dad used to play it all the time. 16 Tons by Tennessee Ernie Ford. It's a hit oh, from fuck. like 1952. It's yeah. about a guy in a factory and he just can't get ahead because the boss man is paying him pennies it, on the dollar. Yeah, and, yeah. and he owes all his money to the company store because mm-hmm. he's got to like rent his supplies. And after basically. work, he just needs a cold snack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Normalize the norm. <laughs> Have Normalize a cold snack. snack. <laughs> Go for a walk with Benny. Yeah. Our Get dad a hypoallergenic dog and a four hundred fifty thousand dollar mortgage. <laughs> Where are your dad's roofing company? <laughs> Is Dallas like one of the only places people have homes in? Yeah, pretty much one of the last it's, standing. It seems I'm very jealous. I know the most. His house looks like it's about six hundred thousand yeah. dollars. He has astroturf and it's fucking. It yeah. looks really pretty. And you know he's making the kind of money he's going to be able to put a pool in mm-hmm. in like right. seven eight months, and then it's going to up the value like another like yeah, hundred twenty thousand. Think of it like this way: it's like giving a diamond ring to a dog. He's not going to. He has, doesn't have the brain to appreciate no, anything. Th- this is why I'm mad. Yeah. He's act- he's actually really enjoying it all. No, I he, don't think no, so. No, yeah. He's you really. Saw the, you saw those dead bug eyes on the cameo. No, he, he's literally. That guy's I not think, alive. I dude. think he literally walks into the. It, on Every Friday, he walks into the bathroom at work, and he just starts cutting the inside of his arm where his wife can't see it. Yeah. Because he can't take it anymore. <laughs> He literally was tell like, "Tell yourself whatever story you got to tell yourself, man." I think he literally signed up for BetterHelp to admit he wants to murder his baby. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a guy in India going like, "Sir, please do not, do not kill baby, sir. Please have cold snacks, sir. Do not." I don't know. It's just it really sucks that amongst his because guys like this literally have three thousand friends somehow. They have the biggest friend groups of yeah, all time, like and they go play bar trivia. Beatles have a lot of friends, so you know <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, they're high. There's yeah, yeah. many in their high. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he uh, he's the coolest fucking guy. Where people go, dude. Don't a party on Friday? Hub's life is coming. Dude, you know Hub's life, dude. Don't embarrass me, Hub's life. Where your good snap back, dude. Hub's life. It's actually. Dude, let me show you. And they start scrolling. They go. It's actually like. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. It's kind of like, sometimes it's like kind of funny. Like sometimes he puts like a joke in there about like having cold snacks, which is beer. 
Dude, it's because I, I drink beer because I... <laughs> dude, it's funny because I drink beer every night because my life is built in a way that makes me scream inside and I can't let it out. It's not the worst way to go is to have four beers a night if you can do it. No, it's a way to get through life, but don't, you know, fucking turn into Walt Whitman for the American fucking nightmare, uh-huh. you know? Mm-hmm. Don't write leaves of grass for fucking, you know, the Chipotle employees. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, just be like, it sucks. It sucks ass. I want to kill myself every day. But I'll drink four beers. I'll make a lot of money. And then one day my kids will leave. They'll go to NYU and then get fucked in the ass by a 45-year-old man. Mm-hmm. Because they hate me. Leaves of snacks. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good. Yep. Yeah. Walt now- Shitman. <laughs> I don't know the poem. I tried to. I always every now and then we'll get out of here quickly. Mm-hmm. I uh, I always um, sometimes I try to read like great poems that I get like four lines in and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I give up. I have leaves of grass and I've tried many times. I tried it the last month. I opened it and I was like, it was like I celebrate myself. I sing a song of myself and I'm like, okay, I'm liking this. And then you get four lines. You're like, ah, this is fucking this sucks ass. It keeps going. Yeah. I was like, I thought it was gonna be eight lines or something. Like mm-hmm. that's what a poem's supposed to be. It's like pages. It, it's like twenty pages or something. Yeah. yeah. Grass. I don't. I don't get poetry. I truly. I, I really, honestly, I do not get it at all. Like, where's the beat? <laughs> Stop being so gay. <laughs> when there's like those poems like uh, The Plums in the Icebox yeah. by William Carlos Williams, where it's like, I ate your plums in the icebox that you were waiting for in the morning. They were delicious. That's one of the most celebrated American poems of all time. Yeah, I don't get That's it. the whole poem. I don't know. People, I like great prose epics. I like like Moby Dick. That kicks ass to me. Or mm-hmm. like uh, other things. Yeah. Because uh, I don't just read Moby Dick all the time, like some psychopath. Sure, I like Rupee. Don't spread that <laughs> yeah. rumor. I did just reread it again. I like like Rupee Cower poems and stuff. Where yeah. It's like milk is honey and honey is tea. Right. You dipped you dipped your milk into my honey yeah. because you thought I was a bee ripe for the flower. As we go, we do not see, but as we see, we do not go. How can this flower spring when she gets herpes from someone at NYU? Who didn't call her back? I like, I like Little Wayne poetry, like in the my you know my yearbook. Mm-hmm. You look at the kids that like quoted Little Wayne, mm-hmm. and it's like hot like fire, cold like ice. Yeah, and and they're like you're like wow, you're gonna have a hell of a life. <laughs> yeah, you, it literally might. You should look at that and then just smash cut to the bars closing yeah. on their cell. Their gra- their graduation, their yearbook quote is just DJ Khaled's air horn, just a. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, they're like, live fast and leave a very bad-looking corpse. <laughs> Devin's favorite uh, poet is lyricsgenius.com. <laughs> <laughs> you go, it's good poetry, but the ads suck. The thing is, I'm not going to give up on poetry because I like to surprise myself. And, you know, as uh, as I age, there's things that are very appealing to me that I thought, you know, I didn't once think I wanted a child. I didn't I didn't once find birds interesting. I didn't once w- ever want to read Moby Dick. I mm-hmm. didn't once ever like like Indian food. I used to hate Indian food. I had it once. I thought it was like I thought it uh, was kind of stinky. Yeah, right. I've I've turned a new leaf on a lot of things, so I'm not ruling out poetry. Right. I'm going to keep trying to read poetry. I've liked some poetry I've read for sure. Some of it kicks ass. Sure. But I've never been and when I sit down to read, I never open a book of poems. I always Open a novel. I'm sure there's obviously great poetry out there, but most of it I've read it just it just kind of feels like a like a shield for a bad writer to be really vague, mm-hmm. and yeah, then allow kind of you. Feels. It kind of feels like alt comedy or like a like a like a really weird alt move like a it's a kazoo instead abstract of a abstract movie where like it's like pretty much bad, but everyone but it's so yeah. bad that people like have a dialogue a discussion about it. You can suck and just be like, you don't get it. You don't get it exactly. Yeah. That it's type not of shit. it's not for you. Mm-hmm. It's for no one because it sucks. Mm-hmm. How, how exactly. about uh, I smoke that Kush and I ball like swoosh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If did Emily Dickinson write that? I didn't think so. Yeah, she actually right. did. You stole that from her. Weezy. There was a one year period where Emily Dix- Dickinson started fucking a black guy, and she wrote a lot of. <laughs> she wrote a she wrote lot. the Carter Three. Yeah. <laughs> Lean is the yeah. thing without feathers. <laughs> Let the beat build by Emily Dickinson. That wait, the, the beat build, bitch. bitch. How does it go again? Yeah, yeah, that's you yeah. Got Devin, it. Maybe, Devin told me because I was listening to Carter Three, and I texted Devin. I was like, "It's fucking un. It's un, so good. Mm-hmm. I never listened to it because all the it's guys fun. that called me gay in high school yeah, yeah. that were racist loved the Carter. They just like Lil yeah, Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They like they liked it ironically. 
They were like, he's so stupid. <laughs> he thinks he's wheezy. Like, yeah, I like him. I like him because he represents the things I yeah. hate about black people. Yeah, it's I like cool. him because he looks like a raisin with dreads. <laughs> I'm not lying. They love Little Wayne only. Yes, they loved Little Wayne. Yeah. Uh, I, I literally would. I literally knew guys who would like blare Little Wayne while they rolled coal on a yeah. black guy. <laughs> <laughs> like the one. They're like, well, you want to do Saturday night? Let's go listen to the Carter Three and find the black kid and yeah. roll coal on him. They like two chains too and shit. Yeah, like yeah, you know, yeah, he's like yeah, drinking yeah, yeah. champagne on an airplane. They like, <laughs> yeah, I bought silly a, guy. I bu- <laughs> yeah, the amount of white guys I knew who were like, he bought. I bought a mansion in Wisconsin. That's so funny. Yeah, that's so good. So like, uh, Lil Wayne is like Willy Wonka to them, pretty much. Like it's just like a cartoon of a of a guy. It's not real yes. to them, really. Mm-hmm. I, yes. get, I get what you're saying. Yes. More more of an Oompa Loompa because he's tiny. He's and very sings. tiny. Yeah. And uh, Kanye's fingertips, but he are does all live in a that. chocolate factory. <laughs> that he does. La, 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 like a lollipop. Kanye's fingertips are all over the album, and yeah. I didn't realize that he had a great hand and make all oh, the go. If you're listening right now, you go listen let, to the, the minute Carter you hear the three. beat of "Let the Beat Build," you know, oh, it's Kanye. It's got to be Kanye. Oh, it's so good. That, when his, you, his I sampling, to it. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Chipmunk yeah. Soul sampling. Yeah, that type yeah, of yeah. shit that he was doing a lot back then. Mm-hmm. Anyway, go listen to Wheezy. Support, support Wheezy great artists. Wheezy F Baby. Yes. I don't think he's doing great, listen, so go support him. Dedication 6 is the one of the best mixtapes I've ever heard. Okay, I'll listen to that too. Thank yeah, you, Devin, great. for the homework. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's his best rapping, I think, of his whole life. Came out like four or five years ago, I think. Oh, really? Six years ago. So yeah. his best was ahead of him, actually. Yeah, it actually is so good. I was like, I, did he have a, is there a writer? Did he somebody write this for him? Like, yeah. it's great. Because he hasn't been inspired in a long time. I looked him up. By the way, he owes people millions and millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. Like, he has rappers on his uh, album, and like, he owes millions in royalties that he doesn't he pay owes, out He owes to millions to Robitussin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, he literally lives like like Pretty Boy Floyd or yeah. something. He like drives in a big jalopy and shoots cows <laughs> on the run from the police. <laughs> Little Wade's amazing. Yeah, he's great. He's like Babyface Nelson. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, patreon.com slash lemon party for uh, more bonus content every week. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Devin at Hate Watch Pod. Jace at Ted Drawings by Jace. Well, actually, you got banned or whatever. Yeah, I'm now just at Lemon Party Show. I stole the show's Twitter. Uh, so I didn't go to zero followers. But you're going to get your other Twitter back. I don't think I will. Did you appeal Did you it? Appeal? I appealed it um, about seven times and nothing mm. happened. I got no emails. So. It's like a reverse Nuremberg. <laughs> <laughs> like not not testy I enough. I literally tweeted at you and I'm like, I will say it. Please unban me. <laughs> I'll do anything. I'll do anything. I can't, I can't post and get 20 likes. I'll kill myself. <laughs> this is miserable. All right. Well, we'll see you guys. We're going over to the Patreon now, so uh, see you over there. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina, music would play and Polino would whirl. Blacker than night were the eyes of Polino, wicked and evil while casting a spell. My love was deep for this Mexican maid I was in love but in vain I could tell One night a wild young cowboy came in Wild as the West Texas wind